So let's see the sequence of operations uh, of a vehicle from entry to exit. So now, suppose a vehicle entered, what will happen? So the entry of parking service would be called because a uh, vehicle is entering. So for entry, entry is called entry method. Okay. Next, what will happen? It will basically fetch the type of parking spot from the vehicle itself because vehicle now has parking spot enum. So fetch parking spot enum. Then what will happen? Now we have the parking spot. We know this type of parking spot would be good for this vehicle. Now what will happen? We'll call our parking strategy to fetch the right parking spot. So strategy dot get parking spot. This method would be called with the parking spot enum that we have passed as an argument. Then what? Now we have got the parking spot. What will we do? We'll make the parking ticket and parking ticket will be given. Great. So we are done with entry. This is what will happen at the entry. There's one more thing which we have forgotten that we have got the parking ticket, but we have not updated the display board. So first of all, the status of this parking spot changes from free to non-free, right? From changes its value of is free from true to false. Secondly, this parking spot moves from free parking spots to occupied parking spots, right? Change status of parking spot. Second would be move this parking spot from free to occupied. Then next what? We have to update the display board also. So we will call the update service or change method in the display service. So display service dot change would happen. These are all the set of operations that we have for entry. Great. So let's talk about exit now. So what will happen in exit? A person would come as with his vehicle. So now either automated system or parking attendant, whatsoever is, first will do the validation which means that he would match the vehicle with the parking ticket. Uh, if the vehicle in the parking ticket matches the vehicle he's carrying right now or not, right? So validation would be there. Now, validation could be true or could be false. If it's false, we can raise an exception. If it's true, then what will happen? Now the parking spot is free. Of course, we need to calculate the amount. We'll tell him the amount. But that parking spot is free, right? So we have to change the status of that parking spot. So change status of parking spot now this parking spot was occupied previously but now it's free so we have to move this from occupied to free now move parking spot from occupied to free then what we should calculate the amount which we have before amount also we need to update the display service also that one parking spot is moved to free right so we need to update the display service so we'll again call the update method of the display service dot update with the proper parameters. Then what? We'll calculate the amount and we'll return the amount to the, we'll give the amount to the person that this amount he needs to pay. So we can return the amount. So these are two. Now what happens for the payment? Now person, whichever means he wants to pay the, uh, the amount, he can pay the amount via credit card or so payment service has those methods and he can pay the amount and those methods would be called. So this is for payment service. I believe now you would have got much more clarity about all the methods and data members that we have, right? How they are, how they would be used, how they would be interlinked. Okay. I hope this helps. Now we can write the code in a much better way. Let's move to the code now. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.